गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स क्लास ट्वेल्थ चैप्टर नंबर फाइव लेक्चर फाइव होमवर्क सोल्यूशन सो इन लेक्चर फाइव द होमवर्क गिवन वॉज एक्सरसाइज फाइव पॉइंट थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर टू बी डन इन द होमवर्क राइट सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन लेट एस स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री एज यू कैन सी वॉट इज गिवन ए एक्स प्लस बी वाई होल स्क्वायर बी वाई स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू कोस ऑफ वाई तो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी विल फाइंड डी बाई डी एक्स यू विल राइट डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ ए एक्स प्लस डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ बी वाई स्क्वायर विल डिफ्रेंशिएट बोथ द साइड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स क्लियर नाउ जस्ट सी वट विल यू हैव डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ ए एक्स ए बींग कॉन्स्टेंट विल बी एज अट इज डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ एक्स विल बी वन Plus b will be taken out. d by dx of y square will be 2y, and then you will do for y d by dx of y. Most of the students forget to write this. They just do for y square as 2y, but then don't write d y by dx. You have to do for y also because first of all you have done for power function. Now you will do for y as well. Now d by dx of cos, as you know the differentiation would be minus of sin y now we have done for cos function now we will do for y d by dx of y correct now both the sides we have terms of dy by dx let us combine them so you will get 2by dy by dx minus here it is in minus it will get here in plus sin y dy by dx equals minus of a clear solving it take dy by dx common What will you get? Two b y plus sine y equals minus of a. Then finding the value of dy by dx or d by dx of y, we say minus a upon two b y plus sine y. Okay, I'm going to repeat it. First of all, we have done differentiation both the side with respect to x. Doing the differentiation of a x, a will be taken as it is. X differentiation would be one here. Differentiation of b y square, b being a constant, is written as it is. Of y square, it will be two y, and then of y it will be d y by d x. Then for cos y, when we are doing, we'll get minus of sine y, and of y when we do, we get d y by d x. Combining the terms of d y by d x, we get the answer for d y by d x. clear so let us go to the next question now here comes question number 5 in this question they are asking you to find dy by dx again so you will write d by dx of x square plus d by dx of xy plus d by dx of y square equal to d by dx of 100 you know the constant differentiation will be zero Yes. Okay. D by D X of X square would be two X. Now you have done for power function. When you do for X with respect to X, it will be one. Plus, you see here here are two values or two functions. I say so. First function as it is. Differentiation of second function plus second function as it is. Differentiation of first that means X so that will be one. So using the product rule, I have written that. And for two Y Y square, it will be two Y. Then for y it will be dy by dx equals zero. Let us combine the terms. Now we will have two x plus y plus combine this and this. What do you get? X plus two y and what you are taking common? Dy by dx equals zero. Now we can write dy by dx value as what will be dy by dx as you can all see. You will write it as. Minus of two x plus y divided by x plus two y. Clear? So this is how you are going to solve these questions. Let us go to the next question now. Here comes question number seven, where you have been given function as sine square of y, then plus cos of x y equals pi. Differentiating it, you will write d by d x of sine square y. Plus d by d x of cos of x y equals d by d x of pi. 
you know pi is a constant number so its answer would be 0 and here when you do first of all you will do for power function so it will become 2 sin y clear when you do for sin when you will be doing for sin what do you get d by dx of sin y will be cos y and then for y it will be dy by dx so you see we are applying chain rule first of all of power function then of sin and then of y plus dy d by dx of cos of xy you know it will be minus sin xy then you will apply product rule in this as you know this there are two functions equals zero so you will write 2 sin y cos y can be written as sin of 2y yes it is a formula 2 sin theta cos theta is equal to sin of 2 theta let us now write it as uh, or i'll change the sign we will write plus minus is minus sin xy into now you see you will be applying the product rule so when you apply the product rule x as it is differentiation of y plus y as it is differentiation of x which is 1 equals 0. Now you have to do what? Just combine the terms of dy by dx. That means you are going to combine this and this. Clear? And then you are going to write the answer of dy by dx. That's all you need to do in the question. So just to separate them, see you will be getting sin of 2y dy by dx minus x into sin of xy dy by dx minus sin xy into y equals 0. Now the only thing to be done is combine the terms of dy by dx. We have the first two terms in dy by dx. Shift y of sin xy onto another side and write the answer for dy by dx. That's the thing you need to do in this. Now we will go to the next question. Here comes the next question which is to be done using trigonometric substitution. As you can see here, y is equal to tan inverse of 3x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3x square. Clear? Now when we will be doing inverse, <coughs> inverse trigonometry, you will be getting to know the domain and range for inverse trigonometric functions also. So once we do that chapter with the graphs, it will be all clear. Right now you just learn how to differentiate it. Now we will take x as 10 theta. Reason for taking x as 10 theta is 10 inverse of we will get 3 10 theta minus 10 cube theta upon 1 minus 3 10 square theta. When we solve it, Yes, it is an identity for 10 of 3 theta. Clear? So, 10 inverse of 10 is the theta value itself. Clear? So, y will be equal to 3. Now, from here, theta will be 10 inverse x by taking 10 inverse both the sides. So, 10 inverse x we have. Now, you know the differentiation that dy by dx will be 3 into 1 upon 1 plus x square is the differentiation for 10 inverse x. So, at the end of the chapter or this, this lecture only, I am going to give you or we will all revise once the formulas for differentiation. In case somebody have a confusion, that would be clear. Let us go to the next question, which is this question number 14. Again, this is to be solved using the trigonometric substitution only. You know, y is equal to sin inverse. Now, suppose I consider x as a sin theta. So, you will get 2 sin theta under root 1 minus sin square theta. What is the formula for sin square theta? 1 minus sin square theta, it is cos square theta and it is inside the root. So, we will just be left with cos theta. You know, 2 sin theta into cos theta is a formula for sin 2 theta. Yes? So, sin inverse of sin theta, you will just get the theta value which is 2 theta. Y equals 2 into, from here as you can clearly see, we have been doing in other questions as well, it will be 2 sin inverse x. And the differentiation for sin inverse x is 2 upon under root 1 minus x square. The differentiation for this is 1 upon under root 1 minus x square. So, this would be the answer for this question. Now, let us once revise the formulas for differentiation. So, first of all, let us write. I will be writing all the formulas. So, the first formula is differentiation of 
x to the power n. This is n into x to the power n minus 1. Formula number 2 in which we have d by a dx of e to the power x. It will remain as e to the power x only. The third differentiation of a to the power x. The answer for this is a to the power x log base e a. Formula number 4 is differentiation of log x. So I am writing differentiation of log x. The answer for this is 1 by x. Next formula differentiation of sin x. Let us start with trigonometric functions now. So for sin x we will have cos x as the answer. Differentiation of cos x will be minus of sin x. Next formula. Formula number 7. Now differentiation of tan x. It is secant square x. Formula number 8. Differentiation d by dx of. Now after 10 we will do for cot. For cot it is minus cosecant square x. Then differentiation of. Let us do for secant now. Secant will be secant x into 10x. Formula number 10 which is for cosecant now. Differentiation of cosecant x. It will be minus cosecant x into 10x. Clear? Now let us do, let us go with the inverse trigonometric function. So differentiation of, first of all with sine inverse x. With sine inverse x, 1 upon under root 1 minus x square. Formula number 12 which is for cos inverse x. It will be minus 1 upon under root 1 minus x square. So I hope up to this you have all noted down. Now we will go to another sheet to write the other formulas. Formula number 13. So we have done for sine and cos. Let us write for tan inverse now. d by dx of tan inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x square. Next formula d by dx of cot inverse x. The formula for this is minus 1 upon 1 plus x square. Formula number 15 in which I am going to write d by dx of secant inverse x. Clear? For secant inverse x we have it is 1 upon modulus of x under root x square minus 1. Clear? Now let us write for d by dx of what we are left with now cosecant inverse x. Clear? So the formula for this will be minus 1 upon modulus of x under root x square minus 1. So we have reasons for writing modulus here or the solution for all these. Right now you just go with the formulas. When we will be doing inverse trigonometric functions, definitely you are going to know the domain range graph of every function. Right? Whether they are continuous or not. If they are continuous or they are functions, then how they are to be limited in the domain or range to make them as function or one 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 two right so this is all about your homework of lecture number five so do go through these formulas well and that's all for today thank you so much take care bye bye